she rock this beat. going on YouTube? It's your boy, Richie Ruckus. Today is Sunday, October 27th. I have a brand new sneaker pickup. I'm going to hit you with that unboxing, that review, and we're going to get into an on foot. It is a terrible rainy day here in Philly, so I'm going to be doing the on foot here in the sneaker room, and I'm actually going to be filming two videos simultaneously. So I'm going to be doing this video and then doing another video right after this of another sneaker unboxing. This video will probably hit on Sunday, then the next one will probably go up on Monday. So I'm going to apologize now as I am not going to change. You're going to see two videos back to back of me in the exact same outfit. And the reason why is because they are being filmed back to back. That being said, this is a pair of sneakers that I've been clamoring to get my hands on. It is a pair that I knew I needed to get as soon as I seen that they were coming out. I know this pair is a very polarizing pair of sneakers. A lot of people hated them. A lot of people loved them right away. And it was almost like a, an inner battle inside the sneaker community on whether or not the sneaker was dope or not. Like I said, I myself knew I needed to get a pair. I still actually haven't looked at them in hand. So I went, I won a raffle, went and picked them up. And I never even looked at them. I had work all day today. This is going to be the very first time I'm seeing them in person. So without further ado... You know the drill. You know why you're here. Let's get a glimpse of these Warlocks. We have the Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard 3.0. Right from the rip, you know I am a fan of this colorway. Halloween is my favorite time of year. An orange and black sneaker goes hard as far as I'm concerned. This creamish off-white type sole that we actually seen on the Jordan Air Defiant, the one with that big red stripe. This actually, this whole sneaker in a way kind of reminds me of that because that kind of had like uh, that shiny, not patent leather, although I would consider this more of a patent leather finish. Um, it had that, like that shiny, more high class, more upscale type leather finish, and it had that off white, creamish type sole. And it also reminds me of the Phantom Jordan 1 with the crinkled like paper type leather. It looked like crinkled paper. But this glossy finish, I know a lot of people hate it. This crinkled leather, I know a lot of people hate it. And I know a lot of people are turning these into a matte finish. Myself, we're gonna to continue to rock with it the way they are. I am probably going to swap out the laces for the orange pair that they also did come with. So like I said, a pair of orange laces was equipped with the sneaker. You know an Air Jordan 1 never comes with just one factory lace but as far as the overall aesthetics of the sneaker i'm a fan i like the crinkled up leather i like the, the glossy look and this is coming from somebody who has missed out on not one but two pair of shatter backwards i do not have the 1.0 or the 2.0 and you know your boy does not do the sneaker resale game so yes this was a constellation prize in a way because i wasn't able to get the first one or the second one so me saying that the crinkled patent leather glossy look doesn't bother me should speak volumes because i'm somebody who missed out on the first two so people who have the first two who hate this kind of seems silly to me it's like you just want the same sneaker the color block and just swapped out here and there i think this was a dope look i think it's very very innovative to see jordan brand and nike just trying to go down different avenues they know they have a hit with this sneaker and this colorway they knew was going to do numbers and i think it's cool that this is supposed to resemble the, like the shattered glass from the shattered backboard when Jordan did the dunk. Obviously, the colorway has to do with what Michael Jordan was wearing when he did said dunk. So, I, I like a sneaker that tells a story. And I, I just think it was a dope move all around. And like I said, with Halloween being my favorite season, your boy is head to toe in orange and black right now. So, I, I just thought that this was definitely a sneaker that I had to get in my rotation. Before you guys pay the resale, I, I, I would suggest maybe waiting. When people start getting their pairs from Nike and, and, and from foot sites, I, I feel like the, re, the resale is going to go down. It has already dipped a little bit since the since the initial release. You know, Since these hit this morning, the, I have seen the resale go down a little bit on StockX. Even though your boy does not resell or buy sneakers secondhand, I do monitor 
you know, the resale game. And I do use StockX as a kind of a way to keep track of my inventory of sneakers and, and you know, what the value is for them. Um, the StockX is, you know, on some BS. Again, they were hacked. So it, it's just, you know, if you're going to be out there and you're going to be in the resale game, you're going to be using StockX. And even Goat, who, you know, a flawless record right now as far as, you know, data breach. Um, you just got to always be careful when you're storing your, your debit card, credit card, bank info, and any of these kind of sites. Back to the sneaker at hand. I can't wait to get these on foot. I'm going to be rocking these all the way from now to Halloween, with maybe the only ex uh, exception being the pair of sneakers we're going to unbox in the, ne unbox in the next video, because I am one of the few people I think was very hype about the next sneaker. You just can't go wrong. Jordan 1, always go true to size. Do not try to size up. Do not try to size down. A lot of people find the Jordan 1 to be uncomfortable. I am not one of them people. Jordan 1, top three sneaker model, in my opinion. We go through this with every video. I feel like Jordan 1s, Air Max 1s, I'm just constantly doing videos on them. But, you know, I buy what I like. Sneakers are not seated to me. These are paid for with hard-earned United States currency. U.S. dollars. USD. Buying these. So I'm always getting a pair that I like. I'm always trying to give these guys an honest review. It, it, it's hard for me. You know, I just had someone reach out recently on Instagram. They DM me. They said they just subscribed to my channel. And they appreciate, you know, my opinion. And, and they appreciate... The, the honest opinion that I give on these sneakers and I appreciated that comment. I reached back out to him and thanked him and I know there's a lot of people out there who are like, why is it always honest review and then you're gassing up the sneaker. I'm not going to go buy a sneaker that I don't like. So I may come on here and you know, after the initial review of the sneaker and after wearing it, I, I may not be in love with it as much as I am when I have it in hand. But when I'm giving you this review, it is generally on the aesthetics of the sneaker, generally on how I feel the sneaker looks. And it, it, I'm not going to go buy a sneaker that I think is absolute garbage. Like if this sneaker was in, the, there's tons of Jordan 1s that I haven't reviewed. If this sneaker was in a colorway that I didn't like, I wouldn't go buy it. I wouldn't go drop the 160, you know, or 130, 110, depending on what the price range of the sneaker is, $200, $300 to come on here just to trash a sneaker. I, I'm always buying colorways that I like. You know, there's tons of Yeezys that I skipped. There's tons of other sneakers that I've passed on because... I'm using my hard-earned money to buy these sneakers, and, and I'm not going to come in here and be like, yup, went and bought the Shatter Backboard 3.0, trash, don't even bother buying it, they're horrible. Like, if I felt that way, I just wouldn't buy the sneaker. So, with that being said, we're going to go bang out this review. I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. I'm going to be back tomorrow with another video, but until then, I'm Richie Ruckus. Peace! The number you have reached, 911, has been changed.
Okay. Holla. Would you walk this back?